was a garlic behind the door. Uh, I didn't realize what that was for until many years later. Um, yeah, I've uh, seen a lot of people work hard in my organization and, and growing up in their uh, uh, And it's not just about hard work. And there's a lot of people that work hard. And there are a lot of other people, not his family, that work really hard. My mother worked really hard. We worked very hard together work from the uh, sweatshops in, in downtown. But she would diversify, and she would sell jewelry, and she would have uh, some of the recent immigrants and, that were coming over, she'd feed them as well for a fee. And we had, we had people coming through our apartment all the time. So we had different types of businesses <coughs> happening all at the same time. And, and I didn't realize that she was teaching So I ask my kids all the time, I said, tell me about your five closest friends. <laughs> and I sit down with my daughter and I go, hey, tell me about uh, 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 Cindy. You think she's going to college? No. How about uh, Mary? You think she's going to college? No, definitely not Mary. What about so-and-so? You think she's going to college? No. I said, then Emily, what makes you think you're going to go to college? Okay? When most of your friends, you don't think that most of your friends are going to go to college. So I learned that lesson uh, that you gotta choose your friends carefully. Okay? Your friends, the people that you hang out with can steer you in the wrong direction or just not motivate you or or, or be of any value to you. Okay? So dime con quien anda y te diré quien eres. Very important for you to keep in mind. And it applies to us no matter where we are in our lives. Okay, I'm fifty some years old, I forget now how old I am. <laughs> my wife has reminded me several times, and uh, but I like to think I'm a lot younger as I'm trying to strive towards physical, le different levels of physical fitness, and I get reminded you know, I'm not that, that young anymore. But the other thing she said to me was, this was a quote from her, she said, uh, no dejes para mañana lo que puedes hacer hoy, yeah. right? Sense of urgency. Don't leave, don't do, uh, so don't leave it for tomorrow. Get it done today, make it happen. Get it done today. The sense of urgency. You know one of the qualities that I tell my, my organization that you gotta have in order to be successful in anything we do is you gotta have a sense of urgency. <coughs> if you don't have a sense of urgency, nothing's gonna happen. You gotta make it happen now. Today more than ever. Now, not tomorrow, now. Thank the Lord for my mother because she grilled that into me every time we were sewing. My, where I grew up, it was a small room, a sewing machine, maybe another sewing machine, an old television with the knob with the, you know your knobs on it, and uh, big antennas, and everybody working. That's the way it happened. And the other thing she did was uh, other quality is that she dreamt. Verbally share her dreams with us. Her dreams for herself, her dreams for her children. And uh, you know what? She achieved her dreams. This woman achieved her dreams. And by the age of 57, she was able to retire. They never worked for a corporation. Still doesn't speak English. Still doesn't drive a car. She can't drive. Only in America. <laughs> Only in America. <laughs> okay, now we turn the tables over and we get an opportunity to have you guys ask some questions of us. So, uh, yes, right there. Speak up. Okay. Um, one of the things that I struggle with is um, kind of your your 
Latinos with a strong work ethic are comfortable with the tactical, the filing, the day-to-day -day little stuff. But when it comes to taking risks, we have a, a big fear of that. So how do you overcome that? And how do you kind of um, monitor that internal negative voice that keeps telling you <laughs> those bad things? <laughs> through this. 